Kyle Fox, Walter White from Doncaster. box for about 15 years. Uh, I first went into a gym at nine year old, fell in love with it straight away. Uh, I had roughly about 50 amateur fights, uh, a 50-50 record, uh, boxed all top kids uh, and then the last year of my amateur career I boxed for a Yorkshire squad and I travelled all over all over the world uh, boxing so I went to uh, Holland, Spain, boxing all their top lads. Michael were just starting up a stable down here at Fighting Fit Gym in Dinnington uh, and the uh, yeah, I, I, there were words about that that I was ready to turn pro. I mean, I'd, I'd been doing the amateurs a lot, a, a long time, and uh, one day I was sat home and I got a call off Michael, and they, they offered me a con him and Joel Feed with JE Sports. Uh, they both offered me a contract. I come down. I, I were in two minds whether to turn pro. I'd done probably a 40-minute session with Michael, and I just knew I knew I wanted to be here. I knew I wanted to turn pro. I mean, 15 years as an amateur boxer, there's, there's a lot of people I could roll off that, that helped me through my career. But uh, mainly one, one most important man was Ken Blood. Anyone that knows boxing knows Ken. He, he was around the, around the scene before, before I was born. Uh, and he was with me through thick and thin, through amateurs until he passed away. So a massive respect and massive thank you to him. I come from a place where people don't do much right. Uh, and I'd like to say I did. I'd like to say I got on the right path and Ken Blood was a massive, massive part of what, the reason why. He was a massive part of why I got took away from all that crime and everything. So, yeah, massive respect to Ken. The, the professionals, it's, it's totally different. With the amateurs, it's all quiet. You're in sports hall, it's all quiet. And you're, you're in your zone, but with pros, it's a bit more, it, it was daunting to begin with. I mean, I thrive off it now, but coming up onto that stage and, and walking out with your music on and everyone cheering on, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, I, I, I like to be an away fighter. I like, I like to have the crowd against me sometimes because that gets me pumped, but having 200 people shouting in, that's, that's, that's amazing. He's wearing a Pro debut is, is absolutely huge. Uh, my memory is terrible. Anyone that boxes would probably say the same thing. We get punched that much, our memory is terrible. But I remember the day, the time I boxed and everything as, as my pro debut. Like I say, I was boxing a little bit heavier. Uh, I, I had a kid called Kieran, I can't remember his second name, but I think he come at super, super middleweight, I come in at middleweight. Uh, sold stupid amounts of tickets. I think I had about 200 fans there and we slugged it away for, for four rounds. It was great, yeah. I think, I think when I boxed him, I think he had 70, 70 plus fights, so it were a good experience guy for me to get in and, and show my show my talents off in front of my crowd, so yeah. I've never been in this sport just to look good. I've never been in this sport for money and I've never been in sport for fame, so losing a fight, it's it's a big deal, but it, it, it's not disheartened me. Uh, and I think with a loss, Michael, Joe, my full team, they've, they've seen what I need to work on and they've seen what's not working, so I think the loss has been, been a lot better. I mean, I've just sparred for the first time after the fight, and just just with what Michael's done with me after that loss, I don't think he'd have done the same things with me if I'd have won. When it's a loss, you know you need to do something differently, and now I know I need to be adding tools to to, to, to my bag. I have a, a dietitian called Lee Ricard. Uh, he's worked with a lot a lot of pro, uh, professional athletes, footballers, boxers, uh, and I just follow the program he gives me. No, I enjoy it all. I mean, I think it's all hard. The eating, the, uh, the training every day. I think, I think everything about boxing is hard, but I enjoy, enjoy every bit of it. Probably, probably not being able to socialise as much as everyone else can, but the sacrifices are worth it. I work full time. Uh, I work for BMW painting cars. Uh, in my spare time, I've got a one-year-old son. So uh, with the boxing and with my son, uh, I have no, no more spare time. 
if it's not with my son, it's it's in this gym working away. Massive thank you to my f friends and family. I mean, I've, I've had massive support all the way through my career. And if they want buying tickets and they want coming cheering me on, that, that'd be great. And obviously a big thanks to all my sponsors. Uh, like you say, we won't be able to do what we can do without my sponsors. So a big massive thanks to uh, Shiatsu Shane. Uh, a big massive span thanks to Roof Deck. Uh, then we've got uh, CT Cars. Um, We've got uh, C CBD Angels, we've got uh, Peter's Footwear of York, and all these sponsors have uh, helped me leaps and bounds through, through my career. Also, a massive thanks to Edlington Motors, can't forget him. Uh, but yeah, like you said, we couldn't, we couldn't do what we do without them, so big thanks to all my sponsors.